morning to the vlog guys. Happy Thursday. Wow, this week is like flying by. That's insane. Hello, so I'm currently making myself some breakfast. It looks really good, so I thought I would show you guys. Let's just get to it. I'm, oh my God, I just ran into the trash can. All right guys, for breakfast, I did a delicata squash. I did a whole one. In case you're wondering, they look like this. I cut it in half and then took the seeds out and then cut it into these little like half moon shapes. I roasted the entire thing. I'm doing half with breakfast or like a third with breakfast. I'm gonna do some with lunch later. I'll show you guys that later. Along with some spinach, two eggs, cherry tomatoes, and then coconut sriracha all over the top. I'm about to make my coffee. I'm feeling in the holiday mood, even though it's still fall. I'm not a pumpkin spice kind of gal. I am a very big peppermint gal though. So I thought I'd show you guys how I'm making my coffee when I have it like once every like week maybe. So I have this oat milk barista blend. It's like a little creamer thing. I'm gonna add that was a lot, but right in there. And then to sweeten it, I'm gonna add some stevia. This is a sweetener that's derived from a plant. It's zero calories. I really like the flavor. I know not everybody does. Then, for the final touch, to make it my holiday flavor, instead of adding a peppermint syrup, I'm just gonna add some peppermint extract. I got this from Whole Foods. It's amazing. You only need like a tiny, tiny bit. You can use this for like baking or, I don't know, what other stuff you wanna do. And then it kinda drops into the top, so you have to mix it all in. And that right there, my friends, is my peppermint coffee at home for free. Okay, this is the outfit of the day. It's a very cozy one. I'm wearing my big Sunday service sweatshirt from uh, Kanye. Yep, I got some Lululemon Align leggings on. They're just very comfortable. And then I am wearing my white chunky tennis shoes from Princess Polly. So, very casual look. We're gonna go record PB. I also packed some lunch, I'll show you guys. I've got ample errands to run today, so I made this little salad with just leftovers from this morning's breakfast. I mixed spring mix along with some cherry tomatoes, a couple chicken thighs, the leftover squash, and then put some coconut sriracha on top. It's essentially what I ate for breakfast, but I am excited to eat this later. I got a lot of stuff to to do today. So, if I could close this, we're gonna run out the door and I'll see you at Pretty Basic. Hello all, very fitting. On the way to record I'm Pretty Basic, I'm listening to my favorite podcast. The only podcast I listen to called The Bitch Bible. It's incredible and I needed to talk to you guys because I have become that bitch that drinks LaCroix now. I don't know what came over me. One time at my office, I keep these at my office for other people in case like Lauren comes or someone who like enjoys drinking this. I never understood it. One day I was like, you know what? I'm feeling frisky. Let's try it. It tastes like you're drinking TV static, but in the best way possible. Anyways, that's my update. I'm gonna keep listening to Jackie Schimmel. Bye. A 43 minute period. Yes. Where my serotonin yes. levels. Hello guys. Wow. Okay, today. Sorry, it's kind of dark and I'm tired. I'm gonna sit on my couch. Hello. Okay. It, do you wanna come join? Come join. Hello. Come sit with me. So today has been a very, very, very long day. I haven't talked to you guys since this morning when I was on my way to go record Pretty Basic. It ended up being a really long episode like over an hour so we did that and then I went over to the office got a bunch of work done and then went over to my aunt and uncle's house it's my uncle's birthday so I brought him his birthday gift over there and then stayed out for a little bit ran some errands and things came back home cleaned the apartment she's nice and clean went out to dinner with Monica Church and then just got home from that oh I also went grocery shopping so yes I'm sorry I ended up just kind of getting involved with like family stuff and like totally forgot about vlogging today and that's just what happened so that is the catch up on everything but I'm home now it is currently 9 22 p.m. and I am ready to go to bed in a little bit before I go to bed though I wanted to show you guys the stuff I got at Trader Joe's because I thought it'd be fun I did just do a Whole Foods haul for you guys and then I went over to Trader Joe's to pick up some other random things I also really wanted some cauliflower gnocchi but couldn't find it so I'll have to go back again not like that's a bad thing I swear grocery shopping is like my favorite thing in the entire world so yes I thought I would show you guys everything that I got and then I need to go to bed because I have an early morning training session tomorrow so let's do that also I might have a snack all right guys here we go so first up, my aunt is really, really, really big into these Hint water bottles lately. They're like really lightly flavored water. I love them so much too. So she gave me a bunch. Best aunt ever. Moving on, I just picked up a bunch of random things at Trader Joe's. First up, I just got a bag of bok choy to cook up along with, I found this, almond nog. It's like eggnog, but obviously almond based. I've never tried it before. I think it might be new, but I'm excited to try that. Maybe use it as a coffee creamer or something. I got some frozen shrimp because I ran out of mine. I got another dozen eggs because I go through my eggs so quickly and wanted to have a backup. I got a couple big water bottles. You guys know I love my hydro flasks, but my water delivery didn't come this week, so I have to just buy these in the meantime until next week. Then I got this little truffle powder seasoning. I think this is new as well. I'm definitely gonna be cooking with this with everything, putting it on potatoes, putting it on like chicken and things. 
Next up, I have my hat that I wore to the gym. Need to wash that. I have a couple little lemon waters too. I grabbed these from the office. So I gotta put these in the fridge. These are my favorite lemon waters ever. They're the Slim Master from Creation. They're so good. Next up, I saw this online and I needed to get them. They're the Rose Fingerling Potato Chips. They're just potato chips, but they're made from obviously fingerling potatoes, which are like my favorites ever. So I got those. I got a bag of arugula because I've been eating a lot of that lately. I also got a big bag of butternut squash because I've been eating this like it's going out of business. I have it every single morning. It's so good. Oh my God, I got this. It is a cocoa peppermint almond creamer. So I'll definitely be putting this in my coffee. It kind of is like what I put in my coffee this morning, but I'm very excited. I also got a pack of jasmine rice. I've been eating this a ton with meals and things. It's easy just to throw in the microwave. I found golden berries. I never tried these before and I wanted to try those. I got this pack of like little baby tomatoes because I thought they'd be just good to bring as a snack somewhere. I got a red onion, two avocados, a little pack of shiitake mushrooms, and then I got this chicken that is just chicken. I just figured it'd be easy to like snack on if I'm hungry or something like that. So that is the grocery haul. I'm gonna put it all away and I'll see you in the morning. Hi guys, good morning, happy Friday. I went to bed last night at like 10 p.m. I think. Woke up at like seven, feeling refreshed. Feeling good, feeling great. How about you, Mar? I seriously slept so long. I like woke up in the middle of the bed like in a starfish. Like that's when you know you slept well. I chilled in bed for a little bit, got up, did some work, got ready. Not really ready, ready, but I got ready to go to the gym. And I made myself some breakfast. I have training this morning, and then after I'm gonna go to the gym, and then I have a nail appointment today, and then tonight I need to wash my hands. And then tonight is the Revolve Awards, which I'm so excited. I've never been invited to go to the Revolve Awards before. I've seen them have it for the past two years. Tonight is the third annual. Tonight we'll get ready together. It'll It'll be super fun, but I made my breakfast. I want to show you guys. It looks so good. This has been my new favorite breakfast. Hold on. Let me wash my hands and we'll talk. Okay, about like 10 minutes and I need to run out the door, but I made my new favorite breakfast that I've been having for fall. Basically what I do is I air fry some butternut squash at 370 degrees for 12 minutes. While that's going, then I'll start cooking two sunny side up eggs. Then I'll lay down a little bed of arugula and when the squash is done, I'll put the squash on top and the squash kind of starts to wilt the arugula. I'll top it with some dried cranberries and then some coconut sirop. Sometimes I'll do avocado and then everything but the bagel seasoning. It looks kind of good, honestly. It doesn't look amazing, but I swear it tastes so good. And then for my coffee, I'm having a cup of coffee with my cocoa peppermint almond creamer that I got from Trader Joe's last night. So, very excited. Gonna eat this all, and I'll catch you guys later. Hi, guys. Okay, it is much later now. I think it's like, I have a watch now, I can tell you. It's 1.20 p.m., so a lot has happened, but also not a lot has happened since I last saw you. Okay, so I went to training, did that got my butt kicked like it was like the hardest it's ever been today I even asked Brad I was like is there a reason why it's like so much harder and he told me that I should have put my jacket on it's kind of cold all right we're back he told me that because I'm getting stronger obviously he likes to kick it up to make sure that I'm still being challenged which I definitely appreciate I feel like I'm getting my money's worth but my body hurts already so I did that and then right after that I went straight to the gym and did an hour of cardio just to get that in and I'm feeling good now I'm going to to the nail salon to get my nails done. I'm thinking I'm gonna do white sparkly nails because I feel like it'll be cute. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking of doing white sparkly nails because it's cute, it'll match everything. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna wear to the Revolve Awards tonight because I have some options. So that's good, it'll match everything. And the sparkles are cute for like winter, you know? I'm also gonna get a pedicure, but I'm just gonna do plain white because that's what I always do just to like match. I'm already out of breath from just walking. I am very out of shape apparently. But yes, I will see you guys when we get over to the nail salon in like 0.2 seconds because it's just around that corner just around the river bend people are staring at me love this for me okay bye you guys I come to the cutest nail salon ever in downtown for every holiday or every season they always like have this massive setup look at this this is so cute for fall we got candy oh my god like Chex Mix stuff cookies jelly beans oh my god those look so good and then you can get champagne or wine I actually started coming to this place because oh a seven-day free pass to Gold's Gym because Lindsay Hughes told me about it like years ago so shout out Linz love you miss you you guys I'm not allowed to show Perla's face because she's currently dying her hair purple but <laughs> look at this glitter it's like iridescent it's so pretty oh my god look at that glitter thank you <gasps> guys 
guys okay my nails are done i ended up not shortening them at all they're like i think a good length they're pretty long right now and then definitely the next time around i'm gonna shorten them again but look how pretty the glitter is they're so pretty okay heading back to my car and gonna make some lunch because i'm really hungry now hi guys i'm home i've been looking like an egg all day still obsessed with these nails it's a little dark the sun is setting so quickly it's crazy it's only like 3 30 right now 3 40 okay i'm home i'm finally making lunch i'm so hungry i'm gonna show you guys what i've been whipping up and i also picked up some groceries at whole foods because i parked there to get my nails done and to get free parking i had to spend five dollars so i just grabbed some other random stuff that i'm gonna cook this week but let me show you guys what i made for lunch all right so i have cooked up a little stir fry if you will i made some chicken thighs the other day in the air fryer that i just kept in the fridge so i've been like repurposing them now so i sauteed up the chicken thighs along with half an onion bok choy and some shiitake mushrooms along with some of my favorite coconut aminos garlic sauce i got this at whole foods so i'm gonna serve that up along with some eggplant that i'm air frying it smells so good in here you guys i cannot wait to eat for the random things that i picked up at whole foods i'll show you guys i got the food for life gluten-free brown rice bread i'm a big fan of the white rice version of this but so many youtubers that i watch love this one so i wanted to try that one out i also oh my god i'm so excited about these these are sweet potato toasts sweet potatoes <laughs> they're just like slices of sweet potato that you can just throw in the toaster and then use in lieu of bread i got the roasted sweet potato slices they also had some with like olive oil and salt i've tried to make my own toasts before with just a knife and cutting like an actual sweet potato hello okay oh yeah you're looking good okay but the only problem with those is i am not very good with the knife so i cut some thinner and some thicker hopefully these are all nice and uniform so i'll try those out and see then i saw ava on her story cooking this and then i got a craving for it and i haven't had this in forever so i wanted to keep it in the fridge this is the kite hill i was craving the mushroom ravioli she made the tortellini which i've never tried this before kite hill is one of my absolute favorite vegan cheese alternative brands and i'm a big fan of these so you just boil them up they're just pre-made pasta things they're really really yummy easy to have on hand and then last but not least i just got two apples i've never heard of this type of apple and i wanted to try it it's called a jana gold apple i'm usually a fuji gal so i thought i'd have that for a snack but that's everything that I got. I'm gonna serve up my lunch and I'll show you guys it when it's ready. All right, I'm watching Bon Appetit, of course, my favorite ever. And then I served up the food in my little bowl per use with my coconut sriracha on top. You know, this is the deal. Same thing all the time, but it looks good. Hello all. Okay, we have a little bit less than an hour and a half to get ready for tonight. Won't my contact just almost fell out of my eye. To get ready for tonight's event, someone got groomed today. Hello, queen. How are you feeling? She actually came with the cutest little scarf around her neck also look at this big ass pimple that just decided to show up today my skin's been looking fabu and then of course it's acting up right now hold on one second okay she hates 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 the little bandana but she looks so cute okay baby i'll take it off good girl yes she looks extra slim they really just shaved her body like more than usual but she looks great okay y'all we're in my very poorly lit bathroom i'm wearing my revolve i don't know if you can see it's a revolve little silk robe that i got when i went to mexico with revolve thought it'd be fitting for tonight so I thought I would take you guys through my whole gear ready with me process for tonight I just brushed out my hair with a wet brush I'm about to brush my teeth with my normal toothpaste this is just crest and then because it's a special occasion I'm using this stuff right here please ignore all of my really messy drawers I got this from a FabFitFun like honestly this is probably expired by now but it is incredible believe it or not this is not sponsored by FabFitFun but another thing that I got in my recent box holy moly you guys I just used this for the first time ever. I got this in the winter box and I charged it a while ago, but I never actually like used it until just now. It is a shower speaker from Bando. Oh my God. I danced so hard in the shower. Honestly, I was a little scared that I was going to fall, but it was great. Okay. So I'm going to brush my teeth with my normal toothpaste and then I'm going to use this because it just makes your teeth look so white. And especially for something like tonight, I need to breathe. It's good. So I'm going to get going. Hopefully you can't see my nipples. See you soon. All right, guys, brush my teeth and then just wash my face with my tried and true. This is a new one. The Peter Thomas Roth Firm X Peeling Gel. My face feels like a baby's butt, and it's time to put on makeup. Hi, guys. Okay, I switched robes because the other one was getting sopping wet, but I am currently picking out some makeup palettes to use for tonight. I realized I only have an hour to pull this whole look together, so I really need to speed up my whole process. So I'm just going to start doing my... 
Oh, it's Daisy. I thought someone was here. Okay, I'm gonna speed through this process and I'll keep you guys updated along the way, but I gotta, I gotta work. I'll see you soon. Hi guys. Okay, makeup look is done. It actually looks very, very good. I did something a little different than normal. I did the same face makeup, but then for the eyes, I went for this palette here. It's called the ColourPop Golden State of Mind. I got it at Sephora like forever ago, but I was really drawn to it because it's just all sparkly colors. So I went for that actually like pinky magenta one. Hold on. This one right there. Can you see that? All over my lid because my dress is like a pinky magenta color so I thought it'd be pretty to kind of somewhat match it but like not too much so I did that and then I wanted to give a shout out to this mascara that I've been using on my lower lashes lately when I don't wear falsies I wear it on my actual lashes as well but when I wear falsies just on my lower lashes this is the wisp me away mascara from the creme shop it is so stupid good you guys I saw Bretman rock talk about it so that I tried it amazing and then for my lippies I mixed together just two lip liners these are from Huda Beauty it's the color Wifey, which is like a lighter pink, and then the color Flirt, which is like a nice dark mauve color. I usually just wear the Flirt, but because I'm wearing a more pink outfit tonight, I put the Wifey on top and then topped it all off with some of my Shane Glossin lip gloss. I think it looks really, really pretty. Okay, ow. Okay, for hair, I'm going to just go blow dry it and then do my normal big loose waves like I always do, and then put the outfit on, and I'll see you guys for the whole look. Oh, wait, one more thing. Duh, we have to set the face with some little setting spray. This is my Anastasia Dewy Set setting spray. I love this one so much. I put so much on. It's amazing. Okay, I'll see you very soon. It even kind of tastes good. I don't know why. I don't think I'm supposed to eat it, but... Tastes good. Okay guys, we have an update. So I put my romper on that I loved so much and I was so excited to wear, but bad news. Before I put it on, I put this like body lotion, like a tanning body lotion kind of thing. It transferred all over the romper. So I really need to get this dry clean now because she is stained. So I had a little bit of a freak out for like 15 minutes and then went through my closet. Luckily, I worked with Revolve a ton of times. So I have a bunch of their stuff and I actually found this dress that I've never worn before. That is really, really cute. I think I even like this more than the romper. And it was actually a collab that Revolve did with Chrissy Teigen. So let me show you guys. I think it's so pretty. All right, here is the dress. It's like a strapless little, not little, it's like a long slit like maxi dress. It's got these two slits in the front. I kind of look like a sumo wrestler if I do that. Oh my God, my legs are so muscular. They're kind of crazy sometimes. But that is the look. I love it. It's got like these lace ups all the way down the front. It kind of go down. I need to tie them a little tighter. I am wearing some black lace underwear underneath because I do not have the balls to not wear underwear at all. And luckily, since it's a black dress, I'm just wearing black little heels. The makeup still works works really well. It has like a nice little pop of color. Very cute for bags. I'm gonna bring this Gucci little clutch thing out. I thought it was pretty and I feel like this is very award show ready. So I'm gonna run out the door and I'll see you guys tonight in the morning. I'm not sure. Catch you soon. Hi guys. It is post Revolve Awards. Hi baby mom. The true Revolve star The Revolve here. queen Thank influencer you. of the year baby. <laughs> I went to the award show. It was so beautifully done. I had such a nice time and then Chicky met me for the after party. We stayed for a little bit but I ended up leaving early because there were some there were some party. complications at the party. One guy was like accusing Ollie of being underage and we were like, no, I, he's I 20, love that for he's me. 20, we don't we don't say that. Blow. Oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he is of age, but oh, why am I screaming? Um, but we're we're home. It's 11:10. On the way home, we were driving back. We're like, well, we don't feel like going out and partying. I have an early morning tomorrow. I don't want to do that to my body. I'm taking a chill weekend. But we obviously like still wanted to hang out and we were gonna and watch Cal a movie here, here and Cal is not uh. here. So we decided we're gonna go see a movie. A movie that we both really wanted to see. It's called, is it Only Christmas? Last Christmas? I have no idea the name but I know the girl from Game of Thrones is in it. And the guy from Crazy Rich Asians, Asians is in it. And we stand. We stand. We're very excited and they're playing it at 11.30 down the street so we're gonna go watch that. I love And that's gonna be our nice are. wholesome night. Thank you so much. <laughs> we can't wait. People always say that I'm way shorter in person than they expected. Yeah, you're a literal baby. Baby. Sorry, I took my makeup off as soon as I walked in. We're ready to go to the movies. I put on my sweats. I got my I love you so much podcast. Oh wait, wrong shoulder. I love you so much podcast merch. Shout out Kenzie Elizabeth. I got it from Amazon. Super cute. And we're gonna go to the movies. I, I in my her. movie. Hi, Sploosh. She's so cute. In my movie bag. Oh, I'm gonna bring some smart sweets to the movie theater. Do you want any candy, Chicky? Do you want Skittles? I got so many Skittles. I love Okay, do you want sour Skittles or regular blue or purple? Whoa. Skittles sent me, So, did you see the machine they yeah. sent me? You guys, Skittles sent me this Skittles That's dispenser so that says Remy, taste the rainbow, and then you pull them out. You said you wanted blue. Granted, this is the bottom one, so it's kind of hard to grab. Oh. Look at that. For you. Skittles. Put it in my backpack. We can smuggle them in. Okay, I got those. And then also, let me get my ladder because they're up here. I love that you have a ladder. 
I can't reach anything this fast. Yay! Okay. You know who can? Callaghan. <laughs> I know, but he's not here. Okay, guys. I'm usually. Does he watch the vlogs? No. I, I told him he can never watch anything. Too. No, God, oh. he would hate it. Are you kidding me? Ooh. Normally, I am a popcorn and either peanut M and M's or chocolate chip cookie dough bites girl. But tonight, I'm feeling a little different. I'm gonna bring my own bag of Siete tortilla chips. Well. I'm just like not in the mood for popcorn tonight. Maybe I will be when I get there. But I'm gonna bring these. These are the Smart Sweets peach rings. They are so yeah, good. Yeah, and this pack has 100% of your daily fiber, daily value of fiber, whatever it is, in here. And they're so good. I really like the texture of them. But we're gonna go. See you guys along the way. On the flip side. I got this sweatshirt in an extra large so I can wear it like baggy. It's very comfortable. Perfect. Oh wait, I didn't tell them. I don't think I did. I'm gonna smuggle these in and then I also in my backpack packed cozy fuzzy socks that I'm gonna put in when we get in there so I can just lounge. Daisy, I, we tried to figure out a way to bring Daisy in but we weren't able to. Aww. This is my hairy baby. Hi baby. <gasps> Thank oh you, God. okay. Love you guys, bye. Hi guys, good morning. It is the next morning. It is Saturday morning. I woke up feeling so great. Actually, no, we're sitting down. Here we go. Hello all, happy Saturday morning. So, I ended up going to the movies last night and I, I am not the type to bash movies. The thing is, I feel like I always find something good about a movie. I feel like every time I leave a movie, I'm like, that's my new favorite movie. If I could give you any advice, do not see Last Christmas. I thought it was gonna be amazing. I was so excited. I A, fell asleep because I got so bored throughout it, and B, when I woke up and found out what had actually happened in the movie, I am not a fan. I won't give away any spoilers, but I think it was honestly one of the worst movies I've seen in a very long time. Either way, still love Henry Golding, still very excited for Crazy Rich Asians 2. The mom from Crazy Rich Asians was in it. She was very cute. But yes, it is Saturday morning, but since I fell asleep in the theater at like midnight, like 12.30, I got home at like one-ish, and I was not able to sleep until 4 a.m., you guys. I was up on TikTok all night long, so <laughs> I just realized Right so I woke up a little late today. I woke up at like 9 or so. But honestly, I don't really have any plans today. I saved the whole day just to be home, to edit. Eli's coming over to finish up a video with me today and get some like pictures and stuff done for Instagram. And then later tonight, Alicia and Ash are coming over and we're gonna do like a workout and make dinner together. But all my plans involve staying home pretty much today because I'm waiting for a furniture delivery and I am very excited about it. So I kinda have to be home all day. But. I'm just gonna edit, gonna chill. It's gonna be a nice, fun Saturday. I'm gonna take that one for a walk eventually. But I made myself some nice brunch. I did brown rice bread with avocado, a thick slice of heirloom tomato, and an over easy egg with sriracha, everything but the bagel seasoning, and pepper. So it looks amazing. Having my water, I'm very hungry. And I think that's gonna be it for the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Gonna throw my hood on, and I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Have a great weekend. Love you. Bye.